I'm going to make videos when I feel like making video if I have an idea. And I have an idea, so I'm making a video because I have that idea. I watch um, a lot of film theory, game theory, and now food theory. Um, I think it'd be quite cool to do like a look based off of the colours and like their logo and stuff. No idea how I'm going to do it, it's probably going to turn out quite shockingly bad. And I thought that's not going to be very entertaining for you people. So I am now going to apparently get completely whitewashed, thank you. I am now going to say random facts that I learned from like film theory and stuff that are relevant to everyday life as well so not just like a game or a film specifically um, because I appreciate not everyone cares about the lore of Sonic or the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's so I've got a couple of facts here that I tend to remember um, and I think they're quite fun ones that kind of strike up a conversation almost um, and they're weird which I quite like and they're unusual ones and ones that I learned from this as well yeah also can we just appreciate the fact that I now have a bag that has all my makeup in so I now don't need to do anything and like go anywhere which is great the first fact is a fact from Frozen 2. What that? Poop in squares. Because yes, I had to start off this video with a poop fact. Scientists don't know why wombats poop in squares, but for some reason they just do. Some scientists believe that the reason behind it that they can get territory so obviously if they poop in round then it would just roll away and some scientists believe that it's square so it doesn't roll but there isn't they don't know quite how it works but it's quite cool and I'm hoping that although there's not many facts they're fun facts and interesting facts that you guys can be like, oh yeah, that's so cool, thank you for this, I'm so glad that you told me. I feel like I should try and do like a transition. Yeah. Mm, let's see how good my editing is. Kind of worked. I'm going to start doing my eyes. I'm going to do a yellow here, red, and then a cut crease of green. Because the yellow will go into both of the colours in theory, and then the green and the red will be two different colours. It may look really bad, but I figure you guys aren't here for the makeup tips. I figure you guys aren't here for the makeup tips. You guys are here for the facts. Another fact is um, that pizza toppings on your pizza, obviously, where else would you have pizza toppings? If you order pizza with just cheese versus pizza with cheese and toppings, it's like you get less cheese with the one with toppings. Does that make sense? So like, if you get one with cheese, you have like, say, this is exaggeration. You get like this much cheese on just your normal margarita. But if you get like one with cheese and toppings, you have like probably slightly more of it, but you get less cheese because they have like a certain limit that they go up to. Yeah, so it would be, you get less cheese, but then more cheese if you just get a normal one, but then you get less. So, um, yeah. That was one from one where they looked at different pizzas. 
know which pizza do you get your most money's worth from. But I remember that fact, but I can't remember which one won, which is kind of irritating, I'm not gonna lie. Water? Ever so slightly magnetic. And I really like the, because he does like a testing to show it. I really like the testing that he does. Because he literally, he gets like a syringe on like a leather thing. I can't do it, but hopefully I'll be able to put in like a thing of him doing it. I do not own this footage, but it looks really cool. But basically like, um, he has like a, the, a thing and then he gets like a magnet and it goes whoo, round. It looks so cool and I really want to do it. But yeah, water's ever so slightly magnetic. I don't need more yellow. Why am I getting more yellow? Be gone for that. Did you know that the, you know the like pre-made cake mix? You know like the pre-made cake mix things that you can get? Like the boxes of cake mix? You guys know the ones, I'm sure. You don't need to add egg to them. Like, at all. Um, they wouldn't... Oh, what is it? He he shows, like, ones made with eggs and then ones made without eggs. And from my memory, the ones that are made without eggs, I don't think turn out as fluffy. If I remember correctly. The actual, like, thing itself is still cake, it's still edible. And the reason why it's advertised to needing the reason why it's advertised to needing um, egg is because ooh, I'm assuming the 50s, but I may be completely wrong with this. Okay, but like when it was typical for women to be at home and like house house it and stuff and look after kids and make meals for like their husbands it was literally just I think out of water or something and they wouldn't buy it because they felt as though they weren't cooking as such, so they didn't do it because they felt as though they weren't cooking their meals. So, some big company thing went in and made it so that you had to add egg so that housewives felt as though they were actually making something for their husbands and they would go in and buy it and then they'd do it so they got like so much more it, it's so clever and it's really it's not necessarily good it's not good necessarily but it's it's so clever that's so clever i look like a demon <laughs> nightmare on elm street is based off of a true story. Um, now there is the one of a case of a um, young boy, I think it was, um, dying in his sleep from some sort of thing. But apparently this is where he got his idea from, um, the creator of Nightmare on Elm Street. However, there isn't actually any cases of a young boy dying in their sleep um, at the time period that the guy said it was. However, there is a case of a group of, cannot remember where they're from, but I'm pretty sure they fought in the Vietnamese War. Um, it was some sort of soldiers. They all died um, in their sleep. And they were all like, men aged like 30-ish which is true 
Whether or not this is the Nightmare on Elm Street is basically based off of is unclear. But Nightmare on Elm Street is kind of possible. Also, you should definitely go check out the review that I did on Nightmare on Elm Street. It's a good review. I rate it quite high up. It's part of my 2020 Halloween series. You know, when I was posting videos actually regularly. My next fact, which I did learn at college. I did learn this fact at college. However, I knew it beforehand from this video. Um, schizophrenia is heavily linked to having high, um, high dopamine chemicals in your brain. So I'm an overactivity of dopamine. I find it interesting. Although I did also learn that at college, because I learned um, about schizophrenia, I did previously know it anyway, from Mapa. In the 50s, 1950s I believe it was, there was a drug lord who owned hippos in Colombia and when he died because he owned a whole zoo but when he died all the hippos were let free all the animals were let free and there were four hippos and in Colombia um, there are now more hippos because they just bred but that's not what hippos naturally are so all like the hippos in Colombia are owned by this now dead drug lord it mm, mm. Anyway, typically, if you are um, brainwashed to join cults, they will have stages. And I think there's seven stages to join cults. And, like, some of them are, like, getting the person to just say yes to simple things. He, he looks at it in the view of Fifty Shades of Grey. And then Fifty Shades of Grey, he says, do you want to go get some coffee? And she says yes, because it's an attractive man saying, do you want to go get coffee? And she's like, yes, I do. So she agrees to that, and then he slowly gets her to agree to more things. Which is essentially how you get people to join a cult. Not saying I am. Right, that's literally the whole point of that theory he says but there are stages to brainwashing someone to join a cult I can't remember the stages but there are seven stages I think I might be wrong with that edit to me if I'm wrong please edit if I'm not wrong don't bother because I'm lazy I probably will edit either way but <laughs> there is so much colour on my eyeballs currently and my little goth self doesn't quite know how to cope. Another fact is that I can't remember what it is exactly that he says it is, but it's grub. And I can't remember exactly what grub is. Grub is a specific kind of beetle essentially I can't remember exactly what it is um, lions would in some ways be able to live off of grub like in the lion king I tried doing it so that it looks a little bit like achievements but I fail at eyeliner if it's not just a normal wing, then I can't do it for some reason. My eyes just don't like that. So lions would be able to eat bugs. They need to eat a lot of bugs, but in some places they have that amount of bugs and things like that. However, they would not have very healthy teeth. <laughs> and he describes it 
as when um, Scar and Simba are fighting in the end of the first Lion King. When they're fighting, um, Simba would go to attack Scar and all his teeth would fall out. I could, I do have green lipstick, which I could use, but my inner goth doesn't like that. So we're just going with black. I reckon so. Open, open, open. Haha, <laughs> I win. My last fact, whilst I do my eyelashes, is Betty Boop, who is by far one of my favourite characters. That is a cartoon. I just, I have a love for her that I can't physically explain. She is just. Um, can you see her? She's here. There she is. Did you know when she was first made, her character, so I can't, I can't remember exactly what cartoon she was made in first, but she, she is not the main character. She is the main character's love interest. I'm having a mini war with this eyelash apparently. Oh, are you kidding me? Is it too big? Hmm. I'm a child. Um, yeah, she Whatever her cartoon she is from, she is not the main character. The main character, who is her love interest, is a dog. Yeah. Betty Boop. It's originally a poodle. She was designed as a poodle. So her iconic hoop earrings were actually dangly dog ears that slowly developed into Her hoops that we all know today. My eyelashes are wonky. How did I mess that up? Oh well, I'm going to ignore it. It's fine. This is fine. No one will notice. This has been my game theory, food theory, film theory video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I really enjoy all of the facts that I said. I think that they're all very interesting facts. I didn't know them before I watched um, the series on them, um, so I find them very interesting. This is my makeup based off of all three of those channels, which I think didn't turn out too bad. I mean, it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever done. Like this video if you enjoyed it. I had fun doing it. I had fun trying to remember all of the facts. Yes, I did write them down, but that's because I have the attention span of a squirrel and I would have forgotten them all if I didn't write them down. If you've made it this far in the video, then you are actually amazing um, and fabulous. Thank you so much for watching this much of my video. Matt Pat, if you're watching this or if you know Matt Pat, um, Hi, you are like one of my idols.
um, I love you and all the stuff that you do, I find you really interesting. Your videos help me inspire to be a nerd, which is great, um, it helps me and it inspires me to go out and watch videos and learn new things about things, even if no one else cares to hear them, I enjoy going and researching them. I highly doubt that he's gonna watch this and if he does then he probably won't get this far in the video. But if he does, then that is amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe because I do sometimes post videos, um, like this. That are just videos that I get inspired to do so then I make them. Um, I don't post frequently. I try and post Sundays, but I don't post frequently. I don't post infrequently enough for you to not validate subscribing. Like, I'll try and post at least once a month, hopefully more, but I'm not promising any more than that. So you should subscribe, because it's great here. We're one big happy family. Bye! <laughs> Will I be taking pictures of this and posting them on Instagram and possibly Twitter? Yes. Will I tag him? Yes. Will he see them? Probably not. But we need to shoot for the stars, right? No, shoot for the moon and land amongst the stars. Right?